Hello guys, good morning to everyone. Welcome to Sir Mio's Garden. Sir Mio Blogs is here. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Here's a hardy ornamental for the home garden that rates high on the Eco Garden list in 2022. I'm referring to the tea plant or cordyline terminalis which is highly esteemed for its foliage with striking use of red, yellow, green, and blue. Amazing plant. Many nurseries in Costa Rica use the name tea though it's also popularly called Kanya India. This name is used for many of the Dracaenas which are close relatives to the tea plant. However, tea plants have distinctive stems with clasping petioles that cling to the trunk of the plant. Born on long panicles among the leaves, the pastel flowers look like small violet and yellow lilies and have a pleasant fragrance and appearance. These plants have a tendency to form an upright shrub, though older specimens become gangly and bend toward the ground. Tea plants are most often used to enhance a tropical landscaping effect. They are best set in foundation arrangements or large pots as single standing specimens or under larger trees as they are very shade tolerant. In fact, their colors are enhanced in shady habitats like this. It's interesting to know that the tea plant originated in Eastern Asia and the Polynesian Islands. It has deep cultural roots in Hawaii where it's known as Ki. It is planted around homes to bring good luck and ward off evil spirits. The plant's leaves are also used for thatching, rain gear, clothing, wrapping for food, and fodder for livestock, and the roots for food and beverages. Wow! What an amazing plant like this! Renowned botanist Henry Pittier, who classified many of Costa Rica's plants in 1908, did not include the tea plant, which leads me to believe that this plant was a rather late arrival to the country. Perhaps it's arrived decades later with the banana companies. Wow! Propagating tea plants is simple. Cut stems 10 to 20 centimeters long can be planted in pots or plastic, nursery bags, or even planted directly in the soil in their permanent sites. They require no water in the dry season, nor chemical fertilizers or insecticides. Kids enjoy the magic of starting plants from cuttings. You can use recycled plastic cups and gain a 3 hours lesson all in one, right? All you need is compost, which is easily made at home from organic kitchen and yard waste. Compost can change hard red clay soil into dark soft brown soil or sandy soil into a brown sandy loam. Good luck plant also known as Hawaiian tea plant is a popular air purifying indoor house plants. Wow! Hawaiian tea plant is an extraordinary plant to light up any edge of a room or an office environment. This can be placed anywhere for further beautification. Good luck plant filters airborne toxins such as formaldehyde, benzene, and trichloroethylene from the atmosphere. 
Cordyline fruticosa mambo is the scientific name of Hawaiian tea plant. A good luck plant is any kind of plant that is believed to bring good luck, happiness, love, and prosperity to those around it in the year 2022, so have it now. Good luck plants come in different forms depending on which mythology you're following with. In Feng Shui, there are guidelines to follow when choosing and decorating with indoor plants or else your luck won't be too good. There are many medicinal benefits provided by the entire tea leaf plant. The fragrant flowers are used to help asthma while the steam from boiled young shoots and leaves makes a very effective decongestant. To help with injuries, warm stones were wrapped with tea leaf to serve as hot packs. Hawaiian tea plant is an evergreen leafy plant with broad cluster of leaves, each having border with a purple pinkish color. It also has this color in the middle of each leaf. They are very unique and exotic plants and are widely popular as a houseplant in 2022. They make excellent houseplants on their own or can be combined with other houseplants with similar needs to make a stunning display at home. Hawaiian tea plant is a foliage plant that can be found in many vibrant colors. For anyone growing tea plants with two stalks, it can double their luck while finding love too. According to legend, early Polynesians believed the plant was sacred to the Hawaiian gods. Kahuna priests used the tea leaves in ceremonies to ward off evil and draw in good luck in life. Early Hawaiians would plant tea plants around dwellings to keep malevolent spirits from entering their home. The tea plant is a perfect house plant because this plant can be grown both outdoors and indoors. Tea plant is a bold house plant with flamboyantly colored foliage. It's also called cordyline, cabbage palm, good luck plant, or lucky wishing plants. Wow! Tea plant is a perfect choice for adding a dash of style and drama to any well-lit room in your home for this year of the Water Tiger 2022. Thank you so much for your love and support to Sir Mio Blogs. Shout out for Team Luyanatics, Ginger Duke, Luya Vine, Pamela De Sundo, and all of the teams. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.